Hello there my fellow whale fans, today's juicy news. In his autobiography Spare, the prince describes his experiences taking cannabis, cocaine and magic mushrooms, claiming some benefits at his mental health. Prince Harry has been criticised by a psychiatrist for proclaiming the benefits of using illegal drugs such as marijuana and the hallucinogen, in, the hallucinogen ayahuasca, saying they helped him deal with his trauma. Dr. Max Pemberton accused Harry of being irresponsible and waded into the debate on mental health with reckless ignorance. After his interview with Dr. Gabor Mate on Saturday evening, which included a conversation on Harry's recreational drug use. During the intimate conversation, Harry revealed that while cannabis had really helped him, his cocaine and alcohol use were more social. He described his experience using psychedelics, saying, it was the cleaning of the windshield, removal of life's filters. It removed it all for me and brought me a sense of relaxation, release, comfort, a lightness that I managed to hold on to for a period of time. For me, I started doing it recreationally and then started to realize how good it was for me. I would say it is one of the fundamental parts of my life that changed me and helped me deal with my traumas and my pain from the past. Dr. Pemberton slammed Harry for having no understanding of the serious damage these substances can cause and the adverse effects they can have on some people's mental health, particularly those from a less privileged background. The psychiatrist told the Daily Mail that the Duke of Sussex is an example of what medical researchers term N equals 1, meaning his observations of the effects of the drug are based solely on his own experience. Marijuana use has been found by the Royal College of Psychiatrists to increase the risk of schizophrenia or psychosis, with regular use associated with changes in behaviour and withdrawal. Dr. Pemberton added that Harry has forfeited any right he might have had to be seen as a credible representative for mental health charities as he explained the possible negative impacts of ayahuasca. The drug often promoted by the trendy middle classes can cause panic attacks and paranoia as well as physical side effects like vomiting and diarrhea. In his live stream with Dr. Mate, who also administered ayahuasca to hundreds of his patients in the past, Harry opened up about his drug and alcohol use in his teenage years, admitting that he felt peer pressure to drink. This comes as Harry and Meghan have been asked by the King to vacate Frogmore Cottage, their UK home in Windsor. The couple were told to leave the day after Spear was published in January, after Harry attacked senior members of the firm in the book. While journalist Omid Scooby said they were stunned at the decision, they have accepted it and have begun removing their belongings from the property. It is thought Prince Andrew could move into Frogmore instead if he is forced to move out of Royal Lodge due to financial constraints. Whew, a whole lot of family drama, a whole lot of Harry drama. What do you guys think of today's news? Leave your comments below, like and subscribe. Goodbye for now.